What's going on everyone? Happy Thursday and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, testing negative for all the viruses that can make us sick, and of course having a great day so far. It is time now for the Thursday edition of the Virus Update for Thursday, December 18th, 2025. That's right, one week away from Christmas. If you're new to my channel, Welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. There's a lot of viruses running rampant right now, and you really need to be informed of what's going on. That's what I do here on my channel each and every day. Want to stay informed? Just subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it by hitting the like button down below. Leave your comments down below. Share this video with anyone you know. Already, we do have several news updates for today. And some data updates, such as this from New South Wales in Australia. And we do have an update out of the UK. That's kind of an interesting one. We'll take a look at that in just a bit. But starting off with this. New South Wales Respiratory Surveillance Report. Week ending December 13th, 2025. This is from Dennis, the COVID info guy. And we continue to have bad news there. First off, the COVID positivity rate. Okay, that's 3%. That's up by 0.6%. A number of laboratories reporting for COVID, 2 out of 4. Uh, COVID cases, 751. That's up by 5.6%. Okay, here's what's not okay. COVID going up is not a good thing, but influenza continuing to go up in the summertime over there? Yes, in New South Wales, it is summertime. And yet here we are, another 4,000. 557 new cases. That is up by 14.9%. What is going on? Why is flu just persisting week after week after week over there? I don't know, but this is not good news whatsoever. RSV, uh, 338 cases. Okay, here's the silver lining. RSV went down by 9.4%, so at least there is that. Here is the latest variant picture updated December 6th. The NB.1, 0.8.1, COVID variant, we're talking about COVID variants here, is 40% of the estimated cases. PE.1, 0.4, is 28% of the cases. This is really the only place where this PE uh, subvariant really took off. And BA.3.2 is 14% of the cases. XFG is 12% of the cases. And all others are 6% of the cases. And uh, wastewater either went down a little bit, stable, and up in one of the areas. All right, moving on now to sports. Yes, we got to talk about sports. Sports illnesses are starting to mount up here in the United States and other parts of the world as well. Uh, in basketball, Tyrese Maxey back in the gym after illness. Stint as super animated fan. In other words, he was watching uh, either from home or from the sidelines or whatever. We don't know what the... Um, illness was for Tyrese Maxey, who plays for my team here in Philadelphia, the 76ers, but uh, he was pretty sick because he had to miss two games, and that's not like him, and he is one of our best players, especially this year. He has been playing oh so well, and unfortunately, he got hit by this illness, which is not good. Uh, let's take a look at this over on the website in the sports illness tracking thread. Lamar Jackson, starting quarterback for the American football team, Baltimore Ravens missed team practice on Wednesday because of, quote, the flu, according to his coach. So, uh, yeah, flu is going around. We don't know what Tyrese Maxey have. And then there is C.D. Lamb comes down with an illness. It looks as if he did not practice. He plays for the Dallas Cowboys, and there have been other illnesses-related uh, players. I didn't get to add them all uh, it, 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 they just list illness. It's a player, and it just says, well, questionable to play, not, may not play for this game or that game, uh, mainly basketball, yeah, and, and football as well. So, yeah, illnesses are hitting sports at this time. Speaking of illnesses, not so good news out of Wisconsin. The Department of Health there um, confirms pediatric deaths associated with respiratory illness encourages vaccination again here on my channel, I say, you do you, because it's such a controversial thing. Alrighty, here's the deal, though. Not only is it one death in, of a child in influenza, it's also a COVID death as well. And they do say activities such as COVID-19, influenza, and RSV is on the rise in Wisconsin. So there you go, Wisconsin dealing with problems and 
Unfortunately, we are starting to see more child deaths of these viruses pop up now. We're starting to see flu deaths in child and adults pop up. COVID deaths never stopped. They've always been continuing. Hey, Brown Health to require masks at hospitals due to a rise in flu cases. What's this? Yes, Providence, Rhode Island, as transmission rates of influenza and other respiratory viruses increase. Brown University Health is putting a mask requirement at its hospitals. Yeah, starting on December 18th, level 2 surgical mask must be worn by patients, staff, and visitors during uh, direct interactions. Okay, surgical's better. Hey, it's better than nothing. I'm glad they're doing this. Respirators, they work even better. You know, KN95, N95, or whatever. Uh, yeah, they work even better. So, uh, yeah, masking is a thing once again at Brown University Health. All right, moving on now to this, and no, not that advertisement. Confirmed measles case in Polk County, Iowa. Health officials have announced a confirmed case of measles has been identified in Polk County. So, uh, this is not good. It's in an infant who had recently traveled to an area where measles was spreading. Yikes, that's not good. Let's take a look at this week's measles update, in case you did not see it yesterday. As of December 17th, the United States, or I should say as of December 16th, update on 17th, a total of 1,958 confirmed measles cases were reported in the United States. I do think we are definitely going to hit that 2,000. I'll be shocked if we don't hit uh, 2,000 cases. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you know we have missed cases. You know we're likely over 2,000 measles cases at this point. Let's see what's going on in Canada. And the viral activity levels in Canada for COVID-19 are moderate. Flu A is high. Flu B is low. RSV is moderate at this time. All right, drum roll. We do have new data just in from the UK. Let's go to the uh, overall page. First off, influenza. Take a look at this chart here. The positivity rate for influenza has actually dropped slightly. While it's encouraging, please bear in mind, we are one week away from Christmas. Christmas could send things going upward once again. It's a possibility. I definitely think COVID's probably going to send things upward again. But, you know, like I said before, what goes up fast? And we learned this with the Omicron surge with COVID. When viruses go up really fast, they tend to drop fast. We'll see here, though. Christmas is coming up. I think that could stall maybe after Christmas. We'll see a quick drop in the UK, but uh, it's encouraging. Uh, th uh, thank goodness it did go down a little bit. You can see December 8th, 17.47% positivity rate versus 21.5% healthcare usage. That is still going upward, and deaths are still going upward. Uh, RSV at this time, maybe some encouraging sign here that RSV may be peaking. And if it was to peak, it would peak a little lower than last year. That's good, but again, Christmas is next week, so who knows what will happen. We won't know till January if they actually see a rise. All right, COVID, mm, that's not dropping. It's going up slightly, and I think this may continue to pick up the pace. Cases, 778 COVID cases in the UK. That's up by 64 or 9%. Weekly deaths, 56. Hey, that's down by 25. Healthcare, on the most recent update, that was going upward. And let's take a look at the COVID positivity rate, shall we? And we also do see here patients in the hospital. does look like that actually that was going up just a little bit. And we do see the positivity rate. The most recent update, 2.05%. Will they get below 2%? I don't know. It's hard to say because they are, again, starting to climb with cases once again. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with air qualities in the United States. While we're waiting for that, time to pause for a hydration break, shall we? Water is the drink of choice today. Still bad air quality levels out on the West Coast in California, Oregon, and even portions of Washington and Western Canada. But California is clearly the worst in the nation. And also some problems in the East Coast as well. Uh, we still have some bad air qualities in my area today, although I am less congested. Hopefully it stays that way. Florida, not doing too bad today. We can see here, Florida is coming up in the green. Uh, Mexico dealing with some problems, as is Texas with just a little bit of problems uh, right there along the Gulf Coast. And Great Lakes, still some yellows and some oranges showing up there. Taking a look at what's going on in Pinellas County, Florida, we do have a number of calls right now. Sick person is showing up for a few of them. In Maryland, we still see 
a large number of hospitals in the four. You know what? We're going to count them today. Let's refresh this, make sure it's up to date. Uh, maybe that was wrong. Hopefully it does come up. Wow, look at this. One hospital, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, uh, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four hospitals, if my math is correct here, are at a four. And just to remind you, 131% of the emergency room or greater is occupied. It's going over capacity in as many as 24 hospitals in Maryland right now. That is really bad. Again, really makes me question Pennsylvania not updating. I, Yeah, I think something's clearly wrong here in Pennsylvania with that uh, data. It doesn't even come from the state. I don't know where it comes from. Who's responsible for updating that? Uh, taking a look at what's going on with Philadelphia EMS calls. Hey, 811 yesterday. Yeah, we've been watching it. It's been busier this past week. Let's see if we have an update on the flu in Philadelphia. Now, it still says week 49, so uh, that is not up to date. Taking a look at what's going on in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, and uh, oh my, I'm seeing 23 active calls right now. That's the most we've had during a virus update in some time. Respiratory emergency is showing up with some of them, cardiac arrest, and just a whole slew of other things going on. How about Chester County? Hopefully not as busy. Uh, wow, Chester County really busy as well. We see sick person showing up not once, not twice, but at least three times and respiratory difficulties showing up. Yeah, it's that time of year. People are getting sick. There's a lot of things going on at this time. I'm seeing Christiana show up. Does that mean Delaware? I don't know. There is Christiana in Delaware. Uh, taking a look at what's going on with EMS incidents in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Wow, 15 EMS calls there right now. As well, hey, we're one week into Christmas, everything's this high, and oh my, yeah, the holidays are only going to make it worse. Yikes, not good. Uh, let's see what's going on in New Jersey when it comes to hospital emergency departments, and we do see Capital Health Deborah has a specialty issue for neuroscience, specialty issue at Inspire Ma Medical Center Mannington, specialty issue at Jefferson Stratford Hospital, Penn Princeton Medical Center, once again is on divert for patient volume. Uh, Robert Wood Johnson Hospital is dealing with problems. Uh, we're also seeing, yeah, a lot of problems going on in New Jersey today. So that's not uh, good to see whatsoever. Uh, New York State, cases of COVID are continuing to go up. 729 reported there. And we do see the hospital admissions are starting to quickly increase. 450 there. That is up from the previous number of 367. So that's a sizable increase. Speaking of hospital situation, the state of Ohio has updated with its uh, weekly report. RSV has remained, for the most part, stable. 107 versus 105 hospitalizations. However, influenza, this is a big increase. 318 hospitalizations versus 180. Yeah, that's a big increase. COVID also went up as well, 327 versus 297 hospitalizations. And while we're thinking about it, uh, you know, state dashboards, let's take a look and see if there's been an update to Colorado. And there has been an. Oh my, this is not good. All right, starting off with COVID. Emergency department visits, yeah, they're down for COVID. Uh, the positivity rate, 3.68%. That's down by more than half a percent. This is not good. Influenza. Emergency department percentage of uh, visits there, 4.18%. Uh, That's up by 1.23%. Positivity rate for influenza in Colorado, 23.04%. What? That's just, that's ridiculous. It's up by 4.51%. With Christmas yet to come? Oh, my. How high is it going to get in Colorado when it comes to influenza? Uh, COVID is increasing in wastewater, so it's only a matter of time until everything else continues to uh, increase. And influenza detected now in 20 out of 21 monitored utilities. Again, the positivity rate for influenza. Look at this chart here. Yeah, influenza is just really uh, getting bad in Colorado. Yikes, we found a state that's just uh, ridiculous, and I'm sure it's not the only one. All right, let's take a look at some wastewater data. We got this set up for influenza. You can see the entire country, and here's Florida. Here's Texas, California. There's Hawaii, there's Alaska. The entire country is listed high when it comes to influenza at this time. Yikes. Let's do a wastewater site from each 
region, shall we? Let's go up to Snohomish, Washington, because we didn't do any data for Pacific Northwest other than air qualities, so we got to include something from there. I'm um, being honest, there's not much data when it comes to this. Or anywho, uh, COVID is still low. Influenza A is high and continuing to rise. HMPV is low. Influenza B is low. Uh, how about norovirus? Norovirus is low at this wastewater site at this time. That's good to report. Let's go over to somewhere in the Midwest right now, shall we? How about we come up here? How about, where's St. Cloud? We haven't done that one in a while. Here's Red Wing, uh, Minnesota. Let's take a look at that. Uh, Red Wing, Minnesota does show that medium for COVID at this time, influenza is listed at high, and we are also seeing that uh, norovirus is low and EVD68 is low at this time. And now let's take a look at what is going on at a wastewater site in the Northeast. How about we go northward? How about we check Maine? It's been... Uh, Wow, since we've taken a look at Maine, and we do see here, wow, COVID in Portland, Maine uh, is high. It has come down, but wow, that was really high. We're also seeing influence A is rising a good bit. HMPV is high. It has come down a bit. Norovirus is still very high at this time. Wow, that is really high for norovirus. And now let's take a look at somewhere in the south, and this will be the last area that we take a look at today. How about Tallahassee, Florida? We'll see if we can look at this. Sometimes the data there is chopped off. COVID is low. RSV is rising. Influenza A is high. Uh, HMPV is still relatively low. And norovirus is high at this time. That has dropped somewhat. So that is a little bit of good news. But again, uh, you can see here, influenza A is high in every region of the United States. How about RSV? What is that doing? Now, that's still low. But COVID is high in the Midwest, and it is medium in the Northeast. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Thursday edition of the Virus Update. If you enjoyed today's Virus Update, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. We will have another Virus Update again tomorrow. I'm thinking it may be out in the wild at this point. Don't quote me on that. We'll see. I'm thinking out in the wild. Uh, so, if you see me here, don't be surprised, but if you see me out in the wild, well, you'll know because I just said it could be out in the wild tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's update, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and of course, leave your comments down below. I will see everyone again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe everyone, and have a fantastic Thursday afternoon. Thanks for watching.